They have these chairs so close together, but that's okay. That's it's okay right. to sit close. I just had a breath mint. I probably need one too. I just it had was a, a mentos. The oatmeal raisin cookies are very good, by the way. That's what you're telling me. Yeah, they're really good. It's like these but are they so might have just taken them all away. They did. Uh oh. Well, they still have the cookies. Okay, we've got Andy Gibson here, which uh, actually we had the pleasure. You did a little uh, radio thing and stopped at our radio station to mm -hmm. say hi, and so now you're making the rounds yeah. and everything. So um, we learned a lot about you. Uh oh. And that little thing that. What do you know? Well, let's see. You, huge family. I remember you have a huge family. The Spanish thing is the most interesting thing, mm -hmm. and you've got to talk about that. Okay. How uh, you you know you were doing your music and singing in Spanish. Well, go ahead, tell the story. <laughs> Well, I guess. Why am I telling the story? <laughs> I guess we talked about it last time I was hanging out with you guys. I was uh, working in the Mexican restaurants down in Nolansville, and one in particular, Las Casuelas, I played there a couple of nights a week. And I would take songs and translate them into Spanish, you know, country t country songs. That's so cool. You know, randomly I would find a song on the radio that I liked, and uh, I had translated the song Lost in This Moment. It was out. It was a big hit at the time. And. I just I loved it. I thought it'd be beautiful in Spanish, so I translate this song. And then one evening when I'm playing, John Rich walks in to this restaurant. Yeah. And I just I had this light bulb went off in my head, and I thought, oh my gosh, this could be like where it all starts. Yeah, me, yeah, you yeah. Know? And uh, so I crossed my fingers and I played the song, hoping he would love it, and he did. He loved it. He jumped up on stage, and he, wow. we had a jam session there. He played a couple songs, and I played, and. We had a great time, and he listened to the music that I was writing mm -hmm. and saw a lot of potential there, so he signed me to a writing deal for his company. So I wrote for John for a long time. Now, how do you know, how are you so fluent in Spanish, just from school or what? Yeah, really, you know, I took it in so school. So wait a minute, you paid attention in those classes. I did. <laughs> yes, and watched, we watched a lot of Spanish soap operas in high school. Teleno, te what are they, telenovelas? Telenovelas, yeah. <laughs> Tell, it's, it's like video novels, yeah, television yeah, yeah. novels. Yeah, it's They're very dramatic. Yeah. Right, and stuff, right? Very dramatic. And so we watched a lot of those in school. And I think because I had a good ear for accents, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I always liked, you know, accents when I was a kid. I thought they were really interesting, yeah. fun, British accents and German or whatever they were. And so when I learned Spanish, I picked up the accent really well. Yeah. And that is a key. It really is. It it's gave important. me a lot more of an opportunity to, to speak with people because they thought I was Latin. They already thought I was Spanish. You got the dark hair going on. Yeah, I, you know, yeah. I guess, you know, they they let me talk to them and they would talk <laughs> to me, you know, because I didn't sound like a gringo. So <laughs> it, it opened up more opportunities to practice, and I think yeah. that's the key, really. Studying is, yeah, it's important, but real world, like, you, have to talk. you know, putting it into practice yes. is definitely yes. the most important part of it. But your music is in English, like yeah, your single, Want to yeah. Make You Love Me. Mm -hmm. It's in English, and that's a good thing. Yes, so it is. So tell me about that. Well, you know, I love the song. I just, the first time I heard it, I, you know, I didn't write it. Oddly enough, you know, I write a lot of songs, and I wrote most of my record. But it's, it's one of the only songs I didn't write on the record. But when I heard it, I kicked myself because I wish I would have written it. Yeah. It sounded like something that I would have written, and it sounded like me. There were so many things in there that I connected with and could relate to. I mean, it is a love story, and it's a love song, but at the same time, it kind of explains who I am. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there that will find something in that song, whether it's just one part of it that they can say, wow, I do that too, or I feel that way about this. It kind of, I think for a first single, you got to have something that people can listen to and say, okay, I kind of get who this person is and where right. they're coming from. And that's really what that song, you know, did for me. And then maybe after your first album comes out, maybe future albums, you can have a double CD set in which the songs will be in English and then hey, Spanish. Hey, who knows? That'd be I mean, fun. Hey. Or even, you know, a song here and there, or a duet or something. Who knows? Or here you go. Here's here's a money-making idea, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, listen up, everybody. You become a big star and you have all this music and you have all these, like, maybe three CDs. Uh -huh. We'll give you three CDs. Three CDs. And then you re-release them, the Spanish versions. <sighs> how Sounds about that like one? a good idea right here. You know how they always so release what, the greatest what hits and they put one What percentage do you want more, you know? <laughs> for that idea? We'll talk about it later. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Andy. Well, thank you so much. The song is Want to Make You Love Me. Thank right. you. Thanks so much.